everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And today we are going to be briefly talking about Archangel Raphael. If you would like more information on Archangel Raphael, head over to my Gumroad channel. Information is down below and you will see a full course with meditation about Archangel Raphael. Now, Raphael is typically known as the Archangel of Health. And I know, especially as of the recording and posting of this video, everyone is very concerned about health. And Raphael can come forward and help you feel lightened, okay? <laughs> Raphael tends to have a, a very sort of jovial energy about him, resonates with the color green, heart chakra, all this good stuff, right? But what Raphael can do is come in and like I said, help you feel very soothed, very calm because really it's our emotional frequency, right? That are our emotions that kind of dictate our frequency. And if we're worried about everything, we're, our energy is going to be lowered. So Raphael coming in with this loving presence, this sort of jovial, joyful uh, energy can start lifting your frequency and your body, mind, heart, and soul. If you see your soul as even being capable of being harmed, I personally don't, but some people do. Um, you, you start to see that You'll start to see that your body, your mind, your heart, all of that starts to heal. And you start to have a bit of a turnabout. You can also call upon Raphael to help you be protected from disease. Okay? So some people associate that with Archangel Michael. If that works for you, go ahead. But you always can talk to Archangel Raphael about anything concerning your health. Okay? Archangel Raphael is also the Archangel of Soulmates. Interesting, right? A lot of people don't know that. Uh, Archangel Shamuel is known as the Archangel of Love, fulfilling your potential, you know, diving deep into self-love and raising your frequency that way. But Raphael helps people come together to understand their own hearts. So you can work with Archangel Shamuel and Archangel Raphael. But here's the thing. If you get it in your head, that's the person for me. That's my soulmate. That's be careful asking for soulmates. <laughs> be careful asking for soulmates. Why? Because soulmates bring the lessons. They're the ones that bring those hard lessons that nobody wants to really go through. I mean, it doesn't have to be completely unpleasant. It's just, you're going to learn quite a bit. These are going to be very, very strong, reflective kinds of relationships. Yes. So whatever is going to be good to help you open your heart, that's the kind of partner that you will bring in. So this could be a partner that is different from what your expectations are. If you are trying to manifest a specific person, I have a whole video on that about why not to do that. And people love to argue and I say, good luck, okay? <laughs> because you're interfering with someone's free will. Unless, it, you know, I guess it would be a little different if the other person is into it too, but then you wouldn't need to do any manifestation because they're already there, right? So. Let's just be careful with that. So Archangel Raphael can actually help you heal the heart chakra, open your heart if you've been hurt before and you're having a hard time getting, you know, to a place where you can trust someone, love them again. You know, trust is a big one to be healed as well. So helping you get on that road. And I'm also even hearing now as I make this video about self-understanding, self-understanding about what your personal needs are. Are. So if you're working with Archangel Raphael, you might get a message, hey, put the phone down. Hey, stop worrying about that. Yes. <laughs> right? Or, you know, because Raphael has such a jovial kind of energy uh, and such a heart opening kind of effect, you might be encouraged to go off and try something that you've never tried before just because it's going to raise your frequency. It's going to bring you into a place of joy. Right. Archangel Raphael also helps with travel. Yes, <laughs> helps with travel, exploration. Again, think expansion. Uh, Raphael always reminds me as, as like an archangel that would be standing next to you while you admire beautiful nature, you know, and like he would be standing right next to you and happy that you're happy, right? So that's the kind of thing that you'll get by connecting in with Archangel Raphael. You can connect to Raphael just by inviting him in. Uh, meditations are very effective and powerful. And 
you know, again, it's not that hard. Some people want to do whole ceremonies around it. If that works for you, remember ceremony is for the density being, which is you, right? It doesn't mean that you're dense. It just means that we are in density bodies. We are third dimensional beings. And so having the very tangible, physical uh, things of an altar and all of that, that helps us open up to connect. It's not, despite what people will tell you, it is not what the archangels need. The archangels do not have egos. Therefore, Nature angels have egos. <laughs> well, something like an ego. We have the egos as humans. They have something along those lines. But the fifth dimensional beings and the seventh archangels are seventh dimensional beings and above. Fifth dimensional would be your guardian angels. They all don't have the same kind of ego that we do. Okay. Again, people love to argue that. My angel gets sad for me. No, your angel doesn't really get sad for you. You perceive your angel as getting sad for you because you think the whole universe operates from your operating system, okay? And it doesn't. Time is not linear. This isn't all there is, right? So lots of things that are just beyond our imagination because one of the things about a third dimensional ego consciousness is that it's self-preserving, yes? And so we tend to have problems with being self-centered and once again, assuming that the universe operates exactly how we operate. Yes. So just want to put that out there. So call upon Archangel Raphael. If you are concerned about your health, you can invoke Archangel Raphael on, or any of the archangels on behalf of someone else. However, we cannot go against someone else's free will. We can only uh, request. And then if that person's soul is willing to accept the help, it will be received. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.